Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're here with a unbooting. Now, I have no clue where this came from. The return address is somewhere in Jamaica. Um, I have an idea of what it is, but editing Leisha is going to give you all the stats on it when I open it, because at the time that I'm opening it right now, I have no clue what this is. So, hopefully you're all staying safe and having a wonderful, wonderful day. Getting some projects done, spending time with the kids. Today was our first day of homeschooling. We ain't going to talk about it. Um, there was lots of tears and yelling and frustration. And then when I was done, the kids asked, could we do their work? So, yeah. Um, so we're going to try to get into this. This is a strong trash bag material they got it in. So it's in a boot. I'm trying not to damage the diamond painting in it, but I already scratched it. Whoopsies. All right, so it came in a boot. We don't need the boot anymore. So let's see what this is, shall we? I have no clue. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, Editing Leash is going to give you guys some stats. I ordered this off of Etsy. Because somebody had asked me once, have you ever ordered a diamond painting off Etsy? And I was like, uh, no. So I was like, well, I might as well. So I found an image that I liked and I ordered it. It is a 30 by 40. It is a round, if I remember correctly. Um, before the, this, I ordered this right when the coronavirus became a thing over in China. Um... So, like, they were still shut down. It was back in February that I ordered this. And this paper does not... Oh, snap. That's going to be a problem. This paper does not want to come up off here. But, uh... Yeah, I ordered this back in February, I want to say. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to get some parchment paper or something for this. Cover paper is awful. So, here it is. And the damage to it... You know, it's kind of unavoidable when the paper didn't want to come off. And then when it did, it left that. So let's see if we can scratch at it a little bit. So that's how you fix bubbles if you're new to diamond painting. Uh, you just take an X-Acto knife or a knife of some sort and you scratch little slits in the bubbles and then, like, flatten it out. Um... But yeah, it is double-sided tape, and you can tell that because it came with an opaque cover instead of a clear cover. Um, give me two seconds. I'm going to go get something to cover this up with so I don't get it covered in dog fur. All right, and voila. We took a piece of parchment paper, and the parchment paper squares that I have are about the size of a 30 by 40. So just putting that parchment paper on there tells me that this does measure to size um, because I've put it on other 30 by 40s, and it fit perfectly, and this literally fits like a glove so it does measure true to size so i'll give it that but just in case you don't believe me we're gonna go ahead and take out the measuring tape and measure it anyways so we're gonna measure glue to glue and that is exactly 30 glue to glue this way nope 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 sorry we're, twi we're twisted we're twisted Measure it this way, and it is right a nick before 40. But that could also be because it's not laying completely flat. So let me lay it flat. So right there at 40. So it does measure true to size. And if you didn't, if you couldn't tell what it was, because I put it away so quickly, it is a book. Or it's houses that look like books. I thought it was really cute, so I decided to order it. But yes, I ordered this back in February. I didn't think it was coming, to be honest. Like, now you got to focus on it. I didn't think it was coming because it was taking so long, but then with the pandemic, just know that with the pandemic, things are taking a little bit longer to get to you, so please don't get upset and be angrily messaging sellers and asking where your stuff is. They can't help the postal service, okay? And especially coming in from China, yeah, yeah. Make sure, even for you creators, make sure that whenever you do these unboxings, don't touch your face and wash your hands right afterwards. I'm just saying. 
Now, I thought this was coming from the U.S., and the tag on it says uh, New York, but uh, they lie. So let's see what we got here. We got our inventory sheet. Well, and we got baggies that just fell out all over me. They put baggies in the inventory sheet. Was that all of them? I think that was all of them. So we're going to flip this on over. And it will have these wrinkles in it because of the fact that it was rolled in a boot for so long. And Lord knows how long it was actually in that boot. So yeah, um, I gotta find a pen. I need a pen. Hmm, hang on one second. One day I will get my life to that, together. Today is not that day. Just think, you only had a blink. I had to look for this pen for like 20 minutes, good God. Anyways, so I'm gonna do inventory like a boss. And when I come back, I'll let you know that if they're all there, what the quality is like, my first impressions of this store, and whatever else. So are you ready? Go. All right, so it does look like all the drills are there. Let's get down into these drills as business. They don't look like bad quality. They actually look like really good quality drills. Like they have some really, like there's a straggler in that one. You see it? You see it just hanging in there chilling? Hmm. But it looks like they're really good quality drills. And when I look for good quality drills, I always go to the dark drills because the dark drills are always hard for companies to get, I don't know how to say it. The dark, the dark colors are so mass produced. They're usually the ones that hold the most trash. Um, and that's for any company. That's not just for companies that come from China. That's for any company. Dark drills like evade them on trying to make the best quality for them. So it's hard to get dark colored drills that don't have trash. And from the looks of it, these look really, really good. Look, look how flat they are on the bottom. You're not seeing any knobbly bits or trash just lingering around in the bag. The numbers are printed in a dark color, but you can see the numbers. It did come with an inventory sheet because on the actual painting itself, it only has an inventory sheet on one side, which is, oh, sorry. It only has the inventory uh, list on one side, which is really small with the thumbnail. I just really, really like this image. Like it is just a really cute image of some books that look like houses. And it shows you on here that the, the symbols have training wheels. So I'm going to check that because I didn't check that before I put the paper on it. And I was so quick to put that paper on. I didn't even show you guys the drill field or anything. From the looks of it, it does have training wheels. Which, don't worry. If you don't know what training wheels are, give me a second. I'll show you. All right. Now, the, the, the canvas did come a little damaged, but that's fine. I can fix it. I really like this image, and this is one that I've actually been really waiting for to get here. So, training wheels. If you're new to diamond painting and you don't know what a training wheel is, but you keep hearing people say training wheels, do you see this little circle around that number 8 or that L or that X? There's a circle around the symbols. What those are called are called training wheels. Or they're called dummy circles. I don't like calling them dummy circles. I like calling them training wheels myself. But they're called training wheels. They tell you exactly where to put the diamond at on the canvas. Problem with training wheels is, and the reason I don't like them, if you do not put your drills on straight, if you do not put them on exactly how that guide tells you, you will see that line underneath the drills. If it's on a light background, I don't think it'll do it as much on a dark background, but if you have like a, say a white canvas and the background of your image is white, those training wheels are going to show through. So I might be safe on this canvas with the training wheels not showing. Also, how can I tell that this is double-sided tape? Easy. And I'll do another video on how you can tell double-sided tape from uh, poor glue. Double-sided tape. One, it usually always extends past the actual image. So you see how there's the image stops here and for those wondering, yes, it is tacky. 
the image stops here, but the glue goes way out here. If the glue exceeds that much and you can pick up the glue like this, that is double-sided tape. That's one of the ways you can tell it's double-sided tape. Now, a lot of people will use washi tape to cover that so that it doesn't, uh, so that it doesn't get your arm hair, or arm lint, whatever stuck into it. What I like to do is I like to take an X-Acto knife or a knife and I apply just a little bit of pressure, not a whole lot. I'm not gutting a fish. I'm just taking the extra glue off. And then what I do is I take and pick up that glue and you want to make sure you cut it because if you didn't cut it, you're going to end up taking that glue right off your image. So I might actually have to pull out my X-Acto knife because I'm not sure how sharp this knife is. Just be real careful when you do it. Yeah, because pour glue, you won't be able to pick it up like this. And what I'm going to do is, is, once you make that cut, you can then go down and take off your excess tape. Just try not to get stick anything to it while you're trying to get the tape off. I'm trying to make sure I don't take off the glue for the image. And that glue is being a little bit of a problem. It's not wanting to come off evenly like it normally does. So I might have to take this glue off in pieces, which is okay. Just do it real slow if it decides to be a pain in the tuchus. And you can't get it off as smooth as you want. Just take it real slow. Real slow. See how it's coming off the bottom there now? So I'm going to lean it down a little bit so it doesn't take that much off the bottom. And then if that does happen, you just get some super glue or something. And when you put those drills down and you put a little super glue on there. It didn't come off enough that I don't think it should affect it. It didn't come off the canvas area enough. It literally came off for like the bottom part of a couple of symbols, but I don't think it's going to affect anything. Again, if it does, just use some super glue and glue the drills down. That's one way to assure they'll never pop off. <laughs> so we're just going to continuously cut this little piece of tape off because I it's, it's bothering me, y'all. It's bothering me. I don't mind double-sided tape if it's not like obnoxious, but this is obnoxious. Like having that much extra tape on a kit is just ridiculous. And I can't get the tape off my fingers. All right, there we go. So safety first. And then we're gonna lay our parchment paper back down on top. And for some reason, I laid it on straight, but it's going on crooked, so we're going to ride the struggle bus together for a second here while I put this back down. Oh, symbol clarity. Duh. So, yeah, so you can see those symbols. We might have some trouble with those darker symbols, like Y, because you guys can see that Y perfectly, but to the naked eye, you can't see it as good. Also, this U, it's almost not there. So, for symbol clarity, they get a rough 2 out of 5. Um, because for the most part, most of the symbols can be seen, but there are those darker symbols that you cannot see. Like, look over here. See this patch of U's right here? You can't see those. You can't see them. Either way. So, yeah. So, this came off of Etsy. If you are interested in getting this kit for yourself, uh, do keep in mind, again, Editing English is going to add the dates that I ordered it and the date that I received it. Again, I don't think we should hold it against them for how long it took just because this was at the beginning of the outbreak of the coronavirus. So uh, if you do order it, know that it could take a little bit. But overall, altogether, I'd say I'm happy with the cat. I, it has everything I need to diamond paint. Um, the I, did, I didn't like the cover paper anyways, even though I cut it a little bit. It did come a little bit damaged with a little bubble right there. And again, if you get a double-sided tape canvas, there is nothing wrong with double-sided tape. And the way to save that canvas, I found, is to replace that opaque cover with parchment paper squares or release paper, which you can get off Star Ore. 
Um, you can also do, uh, make sure it's parchment paper and not wax paper, uh, cause you do not want to put wax paper on your, your kit. You also, when you get it, you want to test a small portion of the bottom. So you take a piece of the parchment paper, stick it to the corner of your diamond painting, pull it up. If it comes up easy, you're good as gold. If it does not, that is not parchment paper or you need to use a different type of parchment paper. Yes, you can use the parchment paper out of the store. Again, always test the paper to the kit before you completely cover it because if not, you will ruin the entire diamond painting. Um, either way, that's enough of that. So th just make sure that if you don't like, if you want to keep your canvas from getting bubbles and rivers in it, if it didn't come with them, especially if it's double-sided tape, replace, with, replace that opaque cover with parchment paper or if you have any recycled plastic paper or plastic covers that came from like a Diamond Art Club or a Treasure Studios Arts or what have you, you can replace that opaque cover with something else and it will take and make sure that you don't get the bubbles and rivets that you would normally get if you leave the opaque paper on. Now, if you decide to use that opaque paper later, like when you're doing the kit, cut it up into squares. Recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle. Take those opaque paper sheets and say you're putting this away. I would take the parchment paper. I have it covered it right now. When I go to work on it, I would lift the parchment paper up and put two opaque squares on it. Boom. I'm still using the opaque squares. And I'm, I'm not just throwing them out. And you can still use the parchment paper to keep your canvas from getting the bubbles and rivers in it. Or you can use the plastic film that comes on them. So either way, that's, that's enough of that rant. But I am happy with the kit. It came with an inventory sheet. It came with all the diamonds. Uh, their toolkit consists of a white boat with a plate of wax. It does, the white boat does have a funnel. It has a pair of tweezers that was trying to shank me. It has a white pen with a tin placer on it. It did come with quite a few baggies that were wrapped up in the uh, the inventory sheet. And the drill quality looks really, really good. So I have to say, they get two thumbs up from Miss Coffee. Even though it did come damaged, but that could be partly because it was sitting in postal service so long. Um, but minus the damage and the, the blurry symbols, I'd give them a three out of five. Um, the symbols are a little bad. Use a light pad on the medium setting. You're good as gold. Um... So yeah, so that that's that's all I have for you today. That's the kit I got. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Again, editing Leisha is gonna put up what store it came from, so that you guys can go check them out if you would like. It's over on Etsy. But with that said, folks, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and want to like to learn more about diamond painting or other crafts, and would like to see more random crazy videos, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. To be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.